Hello everyone and welcome to another Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 career mode playthrough video. Where we left off, I just finished island hopping and now we're going to begin Cosmic Crags. While the setting here is straight from the pulp sci-fi books of yore, your challenge is all too real to create a park that would make your favorite space heroes proud. With only small patches of level land to build on, the seeds of funding your own, your very own space race have already been sown. All right. This is actually my second attempt recording this. It was going along just fine. I was about an hour and 15 minutes into recording when the game crashed. So uh, I already have a little bit of experience with this, uh, with this scenario, so I may have an upper hand there, but it doesn't matter. Apprentice. Total monthly ride income of $100. Park value of uh, $20,000. Entrepreneur, double the park value and repay the loan. Tycoon, triple the park value. And we have to satisfy Kara Oki, one of the VIPs of this game. So as it said in the uh, in the description, we don't have a whole lot of land to work in. I mean, we have a lot of land to work in, but not a lot of flat space. We have this big crater in the middle, a few other craters and some other strips of flat land, as well as this central area at the front. And as we... Uh, as I saw when I was poking around, this is a paper ride park. I cannot charge for the entrance. So I have to charge for rides, which is a slower method of making money, but it should be sufficient for uh, for the needs of this scenario. So let's start with a few rides uh, along the sides of this main path here. What is this? Sci-fi themed ride, sci-fi rocket version. Let's do this one. All right. And the stats for this are 2.67, so we can charge 270 for this. And I forgot I need to actually have a queue line on this. All right. Let's grab our tarmac path. That is not tarmac. <laughs> there we go. Let's do the same here and put a ride over here. So this is all mirrored. Maybe the Gravitron, I don't know. Q-Line. Sorry if I sound a little tired today. I took some Benadryl because I think I'm having an allergy attack, so my eyes are all itchy. The backs of my eyelids feel like sandpaper. It's not so bad if I keep my eyes open, but then obviously my eyes dry out and I have to blink. And whenever I blink, I feel it. And whenever... Uh, I move my eyes around with my eyelids closed, then I really feel it. So I just have to not move my eyes with my eyes closed because there really is no reason to do that. Um, but yeah, my eyes are kind of uncomfortable. But the reason I say this is uh, Benadryl has a side effect of making you drowsy. So as a result, uh, if I do sound a little tired, that's why. Okie dokie. Let's grab the rocket themed entrance for this one. There we go. And on this ride, I appear to have... Uh, Screwed up the theming. There we go. And the exit for this. Sci-fi as well. Perfect. Okay. Now to finish up this, uh, whatever you call this thing, the zipper. Three tiles is probably enough for the queue line there. I don't know if this will have a whole lot of demand. Let's see. Stats 2.94. So let's charge 290. Boop. Alrighty then, so we have uh, the beginnings of a little tiny park here at the entrance. Let's build some shops and stalls along these uh, spaces here so people have a place to buy food. Let's grab cookies. And I'm going to up these all by, I don't know, 20 cents. 20 cents or so. I might be underselling it, but whatever. Let's make sure everything has chocolate chips. And then the extra large bag of cookies can have some toffee thrown in the mix. Cool. Now let's build the drink, which is of uh, space shakes. And I don't know why these all increase in their cost. Maybe because vanilla is plain and then we add things and then coconut and pineapple is double what those are. But they should all have ice cream in them, of course. Now let's increase all of these by 25. Whoops. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so that's food and drinks taken care of. We also need a bathroom, so let me grab that. Put it right in this corner so it's touching multiple tiles. Very good. And maybe some souvenirs. UFO balloons, that's all we get. All 
All right, let's make this a dollar. Synchronized stalls of this type. Sweet. All right. I guess on the bright side of the game crashing earlier is I'm a little bit faster as I go through this because I've already done this before. Already done some of these uh, steps that I'm doing now. So I guess we saved a little bit of time. Not that I like it. I would have preferred to be able to play it out properly instead of spending all this extra time doing what I already did. But, uh, oh well, it's not a big deal. Okay. Grab our tarmac. Delete these garbage cans. Then we'll delete these paths. So this is symmetrical, as you can see. If I drag this all the way to the edge there. And this one can't quite reach around the back, but that's all right. It doesn't have to. I think we're going to leave it like that. Or no, I can do it like this. Here we go. Not quite symmetrical, but good enough. Cool. So in the past, I've commented that I want to avoid symmetry because it's a tendency for me to uh, make things overly symmetrical as a crutch. It's easy to make things look good by making it all symmetrical, but it, it's hard. You can't really make it look great to make it look great as opposed to just good. You have to be more creative, see the big picture and do more organic things with it. So I've, I often make things symmetrical as a little cheat just to make sure it looks OK enough. But this is a sci fi themed park, so I'm not going to worry so much about about uh, that's my dog barking. I'm not going to worry so much so much about whether it's symmetrical or not. I'm just going to do what's easy because it looks good in a sci fi park. All right, so I have all these. Let's grab the planetarium. I've kind of wasted a lot of space here, but we might be able to fit something small in here as well. Or I'll save it. There's larger flat rides I could potentially stick in there, so we'll save it. Let's put the planetarium right here. We'll put the entrance there and the exit there so they both face that ramp. There we go. Let's grab our metal path again. Whoops, did not mean to do that. And reach this out as far as it'll go. Perfect. Okay, so now we have uh, one, two, three, four, five flat rides to start this park out. We have all the necessities of food, drinks, and a bathroom. Now we can, uh, I suppose we can start working on a roller coaster. Now, one issue with designing a roller coaster that I spotted is our loan is $20,000 and we can't take any more out. It's already maxed out. So for a roller coaster, I can't really get too carried away and make it too big. So let's just grab something simple and easy like a stand-up roller coaster. And let me see. In the previous attempt recording this video, I actually flattened this whole area to make more room for flat rides. So I'll probably do that again just because I did it already and it seems like an easy solution. Let's leave the park running. Let's actually fast forward it. Here's a cool idea. What if I build this underground? Let's get height marks on it. So the ground here is 108.52. So if I go 108.52... Ha ho! I cannot place it to... Well, why, why not? Is it because of the slope of the land? What if I... Raise it, uh, g g g come here. What if I raise it up a little bit? Something like that. <laughs> now it works. Almost. Uh, I think I have to do more of this. So let's grab this. Uh, change it all by tub. Whoa, that's too big. Here we go, two by two. Oh, look at that. We've already beat Apprentice. Sweet. There goes a UFO balloon. It's like, oh my gosh, I see a UFO flying away. It's a UFO, catch it. Got it. Oh wait, no, I totally didn't. I just messed up my landscape somewhere. <laughs> oh well, I was trying to click the balloon. I think I just screwed up the landscape. Eh, well, let's flatten this and make space for this train to go through. And I think we have to uh, delete this one so I can fix this. There we go. I love how cheap this is. Blech. Okay. Construction. What if I can actually turn this? So it starts underground. 
And, uh, hmm. Let me change the color of this. I don't like this. Let's go red, blue, and green. This is actually the color scheme I had before the game crashed. Alright, so from 108 to 52, let's bring this up to 190 or so. Here we go. And those funky sounds sound like the uh, the horn in a Minecraft pillager raid. If anyone plays Minecraft, you know that sound. Let's flatten this out. Put a half loop on here. Maybe a large corkscrew. To a smaller corkscrew? Let's go with a smaller corkscrew. And a large corkscrew back that way. I can't see. No, did not mean to do that. Gosh darn it. I screwed up the landscape. <laughs> oh well. Uh, okay. We should probably have this running in the background just to make sure it works. And I'm already almost out of money. Woo, there it goes. No issues with the inversions. That's good to see. Put a flat, or a big drop there, or a steep drop, I should say, not big. It's not particularly big. Okay. Yeah, this is looking good, so now I just bring this back to the station. One mistake I made when I was doing this before is I made it far too big, and that's when I discovered that I couldn't, uh, uh oh, we need to hire some staff. That's when I discovered that, uh, that we didn't have any extra money in the bank, that we, we couldn't take out a loan. So I had to, uh, can I afford this? I can barely afford that. <laughs> what was I saying? I couldn't afford to take out a loan because the loan is already maxed out. So I had to speed, fast forward the world, and wait for uh, money to generate generate slowly to actually make anything. Okay, this guy's not hardly lazy at all, so wonderful. Alright, so that's these guys. Let's grab him and uh, make sure he's in a high vomit density area to clean it up. No, 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 you don't. No, no, no. Why was this running in the background? Come on. Ugh, I hate, I hate that about this game. Why does it do that? If you have the test mode turned on, well, just to see what it does, if I close this, it immediately automatically tests a train and, you know, obviously makes it crash. And I can, I see that as something that I'm sure many a kid, uh, tried playing this game and then always ended up crashing and wondering what they did wrong. It's not particularly user-friendly, is it? All right, so we gotta wait to earn all of our earn all of our money back. Here we go. So this is the height we want. Let's roll this and turn it. I'm out of money. Still don't have enough. There we go. Wait, no, nope, don't. There we go. Don't go. I almost said there we don't. <laughs> there we got to my mix go and don't into one word. There we don't. That doesn't make any sense. All right. Finally. Just a few more dollars. Come on, people. Give me all of your money. All of your base are belong to us. All right. And now from here, I'm going to put a block brick on this. So we get multiple trains. No. I am in the red. I have no, no cash. Here we go. Yeah, this scenario is painful. So slow. Oh, a duck. That's not a duck, that's a, a seagull. Huh. Okay, brakes. Not that the brakes actually do anything. And block brakes. Except I can't afford it. There we go, finally. Okay. 
Put our little robot dude there. Sweet. And we can do put our tarmac down. I can't even afford my paths. There we go. Wonderful. This is ready to test officially. Well, it has been testing this whole time, I guess. Let's hop aboard and see what it does. I forgot I want multiple trains on this, so uh, slow down, Buster. Let's set this to block section mode. Make sure we have two trains. And there we go. Let's hop aboard. This is an interesting sight. It doesn't look particularly safe. Looks like I might collapse. There's nothing in there holding the dirt up. <laughs> And this is a cool view, because you can see the inversion you're about to go on under the lift hill as you go over it. Alrighty, here goes nothing! woo -hoo! Okay, I whooped a little early there. <laughs> Through the half loop, and then the corkscrews. Very nice. Yeah, it is a pretty small ride, I guess. Not too small though, it is a decently decently sized roller coaster. And there's ever so gently make it through that last bit and back to the station. Alright. Let's look at our stats. 5.85, so I'm gonna charge 590 for this. There we go. Now people can ride it. Wonderful. Pop. Hello, duckers! It is time for you to get quacked. Come on, lose your feathers. Come on, Blue. There we go. I almost uh, plucked them all in a row. That would have been funny. Come back. Come back. No! You will lose your feathers. Oh, that's the wrong target. Where to go? Yeah, lose those feathers. Now all the ducks are naked. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's fast forward the world. Now that we have this roller coaster open, it'll hopefully generate a significant amount of revenue for us. What are the colors of these trains? Come on. Let's make this a darker blue. That's the lights. Make this a darker blue. And what is the yellow? That's the the seats, or I guess the posts that you stand next to. Yeah, I think actual stand-up roller coasters have much more secure restraints than this. There's actual seats. Well, it's a seat, but you stand in it. It's I think it's like it's kind of like a bicycle seat where it pokes through your legs and you can sit on it, but you can also stand over it. Ah, yes, handyman doing a good job here. Very good. Let's actually look at how much he's done. He has uh, swept 103. Sweet. Okay then. Well, one potential cause of this vomit problem is a lack of benches, so let's make sure we have enough places for people to sit down to calm their stomachs, especially by the exit of a busy roller coaster like this, and then by our thrill rides, like this one could do with some garbage cans, I think. Not garbage cans. What am I saying? Benches. And we'll remove those, this garbage can and this bench to the other side so we can put more shops here eventually. Cool. Let's grab our space bins, these garbage cans. We had one here that I messed up, so let's put it back. Yay! 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 Blech. This game is so funny. With all the little sound effects. Okay. Now we have uh, the star glow path lamp, but we also have these really cool neon path lamps. And if we zoom in on them, it looks like it has a glowing fog that trails off of it, which is really cool. So I'm going to place some of those around, especially in our key lines, to illuminate where the guests are standing. Here we go. Just a few here and there, especially on the ends of paths and junctions like so. All right, perfect. So we now have a thousand dollars, so I'm going to uh, pay off some of this loan so we stop paying two hundred dollars a month on it. Look at this, two hundred dollars a month, or just shy of. So we'll save a few bucks by doing that. Oh, I have even more money. Let's turn it down a little bit more. Boop. 
I think having this place fast forwarded is really the only way we can power through this scenario because I am broke. I need money. And you need to spend money to make money in this game. And if you don't have enough money to spend, it's going to be really hard earning enough to pay that loan off. More drink stalls. All right. Um, you know, what's funny is milkshakes are not exactly the best way to quench your thirst. It's more like soft food. If anything, it makes you more thirsty because of all the sugar in it. Okay, that's synchronized. That's good. Okay. Making money. Lots of sales. That's good. Let's give it a companion with uh, another cookie stall, I suppose. Oh, we have donuts! Nice! More variety! Let's get rid of this garbage can. Sweet. Okay, let's up these prices. One, two, three, four, five. 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 The extra large bag of donuts can have everything. And then, uh... Is it sprinkles? So some... I don't know. I don't know if it makes a difference. But yeah, now we have more options. Let's get some more benches and garbage cans. This, pat, this strip here looks kind of bare. Benches first. Across from the shops, like so. And some garbage cans as well. Cool. All right, we've earned a bit of our money back, so let's turn this loan down some more. Perfect. We earned money back in addition to buying more shops. Hello, ducks. Can I pluck you fast forwarded? Yes, I can. Look at them go. Can I still crack them? How far away do they go? Ah, uh, this is as far as the camera goes. Maybe, just maybe. I can't tell if I'm clicking it. Oh, well, not important. I'm getting distracted. Let's look at our rides to see if we've unlocked anything cool. Oh, we have an octopus. That's not on theme at all. Paddle streamer, okay. And I have noticed that, uh, I have noticed that there's a lot, that every time you play through a scenario, the stuff you unlock, it's not the same every time. So in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, it's all preset. But in this game, it's randomized what you unlock and when you unlock it, which is interesting. I think I need more staff. Let's grab another janitor. Clean up this mess. You are very lazy, sir. You must be disciplined. Okay, now it's down to 25%. Now for some training. Very good. Now it's happy and very efficient. Fast and efficient. Wonderful. Bleh. All right, and hopefully that curbs this vomit problem that I see everywhere. What a mess. Let's fast forward the world again. Let's look at these roller coasters. What am I going to do next? Sky Rider. Okay. We already built the stand up. The splitting coaster, I think, was a concept. So, one of you guys told me in the comments that this was a concept for a roller coaster that was never implemented, but it was being developed at the time this game was made. So, they went ahead and added it to the game, even though it was never really done. Or maybe it was done, but then promptly shut down because it wasn't safe or didn't work as well as they thought, or had too many, uh, had, uh, too many issues to be profitable. I don't know. We have earned another thousand dollars, so let's uh, pay that down. On the one hand, you might say that I should just hold on to it and save it for building a roller coaster, but why not pay it off? Because I can just take it back out of the bank, but when it's in the bank, I don't pay as much interest. You see this? My interest is gradually going down the past few months as I've been paying it off. So that's that's a strategy, blah, 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 a strategy right there. The neighbor's dog is barking again. That's annoying. I should probably fix this goofy landscape, shouldn't I? Let me grab my shovel of destiny and flatten this out. Especially this spot. And I guess that'll just be a rock there, which looks all right, I suppose. Okay, so that's done. And we already almost have a thousand dollars again. So let's get ready to pay that off. Just a few more sales, a few more ride tickets, and we'll be able to do it. Three, two, there we go. 
maybe I should advertise the park to make more money. I mean, most of these don't really look like they're operating at full capacity. The zipper is popular. Maybe I should add another few tiles of queue line to it. I don't know. I don't know. Planetarium is nobody. No one wants to ride it. Oh, there's a few people here and there, I guess. Dolphin Show unlocked. Which is weird, because I have no idea how to use it. You saw in my previous Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 video that I was trying so much to... I tried to build a dolphin show, I tried the orca show, the killer whale show, I mean. And it didn't work when I tried to put it on a pool. It didn't work when I tried to put it on a body of water. Like, how do I do it? I'm so confused. I tried putting it on land and it still didn't work. Where do you place them? If I go here to my rides, I think it was in... Uh, where is it? Here it is, dolphin show. Where the heck do I put this? Or do I have to make the central tiles water and the other tiles not? I'm so confused by this. This would be the perfect place though, so out of curiosity, what happens if I make a little pit here and fill it with water? Okay, water. Now I'll try the go the, the dolphin. <laughs> the dolphin show again. It looks like it should work, doesn't it? I don't know. I'm so confused by this. What if I hold down shift? Well, that didn't help at all. Okay, well, screw that. Now I have a pond here for no reason. I guess I'll get rid of it. Uh, no water, please. And then we'll raise it back up. To the level of everything else. There we go. No trace. Oh, and we have more money now. Cool. Let's look at more stuff. We have the H to a slide ball. That's for pools. We don't have a pool. I could build a pool. Maybe later. Oh, Space Arcade! Yes! Here's a cool, a cool ride that fits perfectly with our theming. So maybe I'll plop it down uh, somewhere. Maybe right here. Right there. Why is this floating? Hey, yo. Uh, okay, let's try this again then. Maybe the ground isn't as smooth as I thought it was. Space Arcade. That is not where I meant to put it. One more time. Oh yeah, it is floating up in the air, so let's click this. Here we go. Wonderful! So now it'll work. Yay! Okay, space arcade, let's open it. And, uh... Look at all the space I wasted. Let me actually close it and move the entrance over. Uh, entrance. Not the exit, the entrance, I say! There we go. Cool. Now I can put something right here. So let's open this. Look at the stats. 3.02, so we'll charge $3 for this. Wonderful. And now we need some kind of shop to put here. Maybe an ATM. Perfect. What else do I have hiding in here? I had a lot of really cool thrill rides unlocked when I was playing this before, but I'm not really unlocking anything in there. Just the just the octopus, which doesn't really match the theming here. You could say it's a space octopus, but I don't want my park inspector getting up on my back complaining that my stuff doesn't match the theme. That is a cool sound effect. You know, I thought this was a face. I saw the, the words on this side and the words on this side and thought they were eyes, and then the body kind of looks like a nose and a mouth. I didn't realize it was actually a figure on a screen. <laughs> For some reason, I thought that was a face in passing. Oh, I like the sliding doors. That's cool. QT. Uh, anyway. Let's look at the objectives again. For Entrepreneur, we need to repair a loan and get a minimum park value of 40000 and for now, we are at a park value of 41,000. So we reached it. Oh, I should have saw, yeah, there's a check mark there. So as soon as I pay the loan off, we achieve that. 
But first, I want to build more rides and stuff. So, with all this cash we have, and I could also take more of a loan out if needed, let's build another roller coaster. Ooh, wild mouse coaster. Here's a very fun, fun type of roller coaster to build. Let's try to make this super compact. So let's put it right here. Naturally, to make it compact, we're going to build it, uh, the lift hill straight up. Okay, let's uh, angle down first. Turn around. Do we get a... B b pfft, barrel rolls? What the heck? Alright. That's kind of weird. Oh well. So we went from 178 to 172. That doesn't look good. Okay, let's re rethink this. Let me actually slow this down and get an idea of what this is going to do, because this turn might be a little too tight. Yeah, I think it is too tight. It's, let's instead do this. Little curved turn like that. All right. Oh, this is fun. It is so compact. Then a very, very abrupt pop up like that. I have a feeling that's not going to work though. Uh, well, maybe if I do this, and yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> okay, what if I? Do that to 172. Probably not going to work. Yeah, it barely makes it up to there. So let's not do that. Let's instead go... Well, for starters, make this a more gradual transition. Or just turn this. Eh, I'm out of room. Um, this isn't quite fitting the way I wanted it to, but I guess it's okay if it goes out and over the, uh, the path. <clears throat> Losing my voice. Now from here, I can try to bring this back to the station, I think. So let's get some brakes on here. As I've been told, I think I need three tiles of brakes to actually do anything. Oh, dang it. But then it's not going to be too slow getting back to the station. Okay, so, uh, hmm. Although the train has slowed down quite substantially by this point, so let's actually lift off the ground just a little bit. So we touch the ground. Maybe up by two tiles. So we can go over the path? No, that doesn't work. Um, oh, darn it. That's in the way. Maybe, uh, nope. Well, that doesn't work. Oh, here we go. We go over ourselves like this. That's rather abrupt. All right, let's do this then. Out of room, of course. Whoa, the world just spun. 
Hello, no. How do I do this? I can't go under that. And that doesn't work either, because I need to put the entrance right there, so... I know, what if I turn down like this? No, that doesn't work either. Well, gosh darn it. Yay! Yippee! Let me speed the world up again. So we keep earning quickly. What if I just do this? Oh! <laughs> the answer was obvious the whole time. That's what I should have done. Breaks! Which I don't know if they'll work. Okay, let's slow this down so I see just how crazy that little uh, hairpin is. Where's the train? There it is. I want two trains, actually. Okay, speed this up. Okay, brakes, do your thing. Uh, a little too much. <laughs> All right, uh, well, in that case, let's uh, speed this up. Six and six. Oops. Let's try this again. Yay! And while I'm here, I should probably save, just so I don't crash again. Those are still too slow. Hmm. Let's try eight. Ooh, ducks! Duckers! Get ducked, you ducks! Alright, so these are the exact same colors from this roller coaster. I think it actually saves the color scheme you had in your previous roller coaster. So let me change this. Let's make it purple and purple and purple. And green. Purple and green, that's cool, except the green we already used. So maybe yellow? Purple and yellow, new. No. Red and yellow. Red and blue. There we go. Pretty basic, but it still looks good. I like all these feathers just linger here for so long. After... I missed it. I should have been watching. Darn it, I looked away at just the wrong moment. Let's watch this train. Yeah, I can live with that. That's not bad. Pretty good stats, too. These stats are better than the other roller coaster. Sweet! Alright then. Well, let's build our path. Our entrance, I mean. And our exit of Tarmac. Wonderful. Now we can open this. What was the stats? For 640, I hope. If people are willing to pay that. Ah, oh, there's benches there. Gosh darn it. Gotta delete that. She turned and looked at me. I was like, no, please don't delete my bench. No! Oh, she's sick. And now she's running. No, 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 don't mean to do that. Ugh. There we go. Close this. Where did she go? I lost her. I was going to see if she was going to vomit somewhere. Oh, well. Well, this roller coaster is operational, though I'm not—I'm still not convinced on the color I chose. So let's try play around a little bit more. White doesn't even look white; it looks more gray. Pink with a yellow track, which would work if it didn't blend in with the ground because of the color of the ground. Although I could just paint the ground something, but um, yeah, whatever. Um, what about a blue track? with red supports. Nah, I think the red track was better. So, red track, blue supports. What does this do? Re press to recolor all the track of the track of the same color. I don't get it. Choose colors for tunnel lights. Well, we don't have any tunnels on here, so I'm gonna leave that alone. What is this? Let's switch these to a darker blue so they stand out more. Or maybe not. Maybe green. Yeah, now they stand out. Sweet. 
All right, so this uh, this park is very, very crowded, so it looks like it's probably time to expand. So let me flatten this area like I did in the previous attempt at recording this video. Although first, let me save. So if something does go horribly wrong, I have something to fall back on. What's this place called? This park is called Cosmic Crags. All right, so save. I cannot spell. There we go. I am typing in the wrong place. <laughs> Cosmic Crags playthrough. There we go. So now I have something to fall back on if this crashes again. Okay, close this. We have even more money left over. I didn't even have to touch my loan. Let's pay some of this off. All right, then. Oh, this looks cool in the dark. Anyway, it's time to flatten our landscape. So let's grab this and grab this and grab this. Seven tiles. Now I'm flattening this, as I said, as a place to build more flat rides. Let's see. Give me that. Why is it making me do it twice? And it's still charging me for it. What the heck? I, I can't afford that. That's too expensive. Or does it undo it if I just don't have the money for it? I don't know. That was weird. I'm not sure why I did that. But it still charged me for it. Or maybe it's charging for what I can afford and then everything just drops me down to zero. So what if I go down to here? Well, let me do that. And then this is almost too expensive. So some of it bounces back, and then what I can't afford. I'm so confused by this. What is happening? I feel like I'm just wasting my money. Huh. Weird. All right, just a few more. And this spot. And this spot. And yeah, there we go. Now I'm gonna flatten this with uh, this tool. Let's widen it a little bit. Cinch up all these edges so it looks natural. Looks like part of the natural landscape. Very good. Perfect. So now I can expand our paths some more and build my rides. Oh, we have the parachute drop. Cool. So let's do that. But first, tarmac. And let's expand this all the way out here. Not like that. Um, okay, this, we'll leave this alone right here. Perhaps we could put a roller coaster over there. I don't know. And where are we? Ta-da! Now we have a kind of loop connected here. Cool! Let's grab that parachute drop and see what else we have. We have the parachute drop. Oh, and the pounding surf. Cool. But parachute drop first. Turn this on. There we go. All right, now the stats for this bad boy. 3.49, so let's charge 350 for this. Very good. Now we need our queue line. Perfect. I did that by mistake. Get rid of that. All right, what else can we do? We have unlocked... I don't know what this is, the pounding surf. Is it like the top spin, but there's more water involved? Doesn't quite fit the theme for this park, but I uh, figured why not. I bet a water didn't hurt anybody. 
Unless you got caught in hurricane. <laughs> 3.53, okay, so 350 again, whoops, too far, oh goodness, that looks jarring, what in the world, <laughs> that is disorienting to look at, let alone ride, hold on, I want to see what this looks like from the inside, let's hop aboard, okay, and it takers, I thought I heard a sail. Maybe that's behind us. Oh, there we go. Whoa! Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, that's too much for me. That hurts my eyes. Let's look away from that. Good, good heavens. Okay, enough of that. We still have even more cash left over, so let's turn our, turn our loan down some more. We have paid off 12,000 of the 20,000. And as we can see, our interest payments have dropped uh, considerably. So we're making good progress here. Let's see, what else do we have? I could do another like water slide if I build a water park somewhere. Let's see. Zero G trampoline, that looks like fun. Maybe out here. Nah, maybe not there. Um, where do I put this? This is taking up a lot of space, which is annoying. I want to save this area for other stuff. But I guess I could slip one in right here. Let's go, uh... Where's the... Sci-fi, there it is. Uh, hello. Sci-fi entrance right here. Sci-fi exit right there. And a queue line for all of this. Perfect. 2.36, so 240. Whoops, too far. All right. Planetarium 1 has been fixed. Space Shake 1 has just broken down. Well, that's never good. Do we have any more shops that I missed? We have donuts. Oh, we have Safari toys. And uh, UFO balloons, you already built those sunglasses doll. That's probably helpful. Let's place that over here. And sunglasses for different uh, different sizes. So adults, teenagers, and kids. Something like that, I don't know. What does this do? Select all, select none. I'm confused by that. Oh well. So we'll leave that there. Um, can't affect those. Yeah, the spark's coming together beautifully. We're making a ton of money. We already have 4,000 again, even though I just paid it off. Or paid 4,000 of my loan off. So let's turn this down some more. And maybe expand some more. Although in the meantime, I'm going to save real quick. So save. Yep, replace it. All right, perfect. Let's grab our metal path, let's keep this consistent, and come out into this crater. Or crater? Yeah, this impact crater. Okay. All the way to there. Okay, I deleted that for nothing. Can't build there. <laughs> okay, this is tedious, but we're almost done. Just a few more tiles and we can reconnect everything. And these plants look so alien. All right, so now that's connected, and now we have a corridor here where we could go this way, and um, I think this area is outside of our boundaries, so we can't build over there, can we? Unless I unlock more land by uh, achieving Entrepreneur, because sometimes you unlock the ability to buy land. I don't know. Let's look at more of our rides, see what we have. Still the same thing here. 
Elephant transport, that'd be cool. Hop on, hop off, transport vehicles. Does this just drive over the landscape? Nope, it doesn't. And I just messed up my landscape. Whoops. <laughs> oh, well. The neighbor's dog is barking, which is annoying because I'm trying to record a video. Cookies 1 is broken down. That's weird. Nocturnal house. Pretty big footprint, honestly. Where could I slip this in? Maybe out here in this crater. I just built it the wrong way. Um. Yeah, I don't know what else to build over here. I guess we'll just let that simmer. In the meantime, let's build a roller coaster because we have a pretty fast income of, of uh, money. Let me fast forward the park just because. And uh, let's see. We have the wild mouse. We have the stand-up coaster. We could do an air-powered coaster, but I don't know if it'll fit anywhere uh, without some serious landscaping. So let's do this, the floorless roller coaster, which is basically a variant of the twister roller coaster. Let's put the station over this path. Like so. And for some reason, we only have four trains on this car. Okay, that's too long. Let's go with eight trains and uh, two cars. Or two trains. Eight cars and two trains. What am I saying? Do we have a launched lift hill or boosters or anything fancy? It doesn't look like it. That's sad. Okay. Well, in that case, let's just go up along this mountainside. All the way up to 250 feet tall. Flatten this out. We cut the mountain in half. That's kind of cool. <laughs> and this one part here is still connected, which is kind of funny. Turn this way. Okay, rotate like so. A little bit of a helix. Then flatten out, steep drop, and now I'm out of money. But I'm rapidly earning it all back, so it's all right. This is a very expensive roller coaster type, but oh, we got a whirling dervish. A very expensive roller coaster type, but my income is sufficient to to uh, counteract that. And then, as I say that, my income actually slows down, as if the game's trying to prove me wrong. <laughs> no money. Come on, give me money. Stand-up coaster one has a very long ride time. How so? Are they stuck? Oh, they're stuck! Why are they stuck? Uh yeah, everybody off. <laughs> Looks like the brakes screwed up the block brakes. And these are block brakes, okay, so we're gonna leave that now. I might even replace this with a live with a chain. There we go. No one gets stuck on this. All right, so now let's open it. Maybe that's why my money stopped, is it's been stuck this whole time. So now with that fixed, it'll be much better. Oh, this is cool. Let's make this big monstrosity green. Let's go big, green. Should we make it green and blue or green and purple? I kind of like the green and blue, actually. So I'm going to leave it green and blue. Neato, neato, like a Cheeto. 
Okay. Let's have some inversions here. If we do a large loop, that is far too tall, I'm afraid. So, well, for just for kicks, let's see what it does. Most likely not going to finish the loop. I was afraid of that. Okay, well, let's try this again. Unless I have a loop uh, earlier in the coaster. I haven't really gone very far yet, so let's actually put it over here. If we come up to this spot, the bottom of this hill. This place will surely be able to handle it. No, 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 no. Half loop. No! Half loop. Ha-ho! That's what I wanted. And now the path is in the way. Well, gosh darn it. What if I started a little bit taller first? Something like that. And now there's a lawnmower going on outside. You might be able to hear that. That's annoying. Oh well. It looks like it's really struggling to get through that loop. Let me try this again. Yeah, that lawnmower's noisy. Sorry, guys. I think it's the neighbors. I guess I can't really do anything to fix it. It's, you know... They... Obviously, we're not communicating with them, but, uh... They have a right to mow their lawn. They don't know that I'm recording. It doesn't matter. Yeah, this is barely making it through that loop, so I'm not comfortable doing that. Let's, uh, keep this lower. Where's my large loop? So, large half loop... And this path is just in the way, I suppose. Well, whatever. We can just make this taller. We can make the lift hill taller. It doesn't matter. I have the money for it, after all. Let's go up to... 275 feet. Then big drop. see where am I there we go fix that goofy landscape now from here we can do our loop large half loop screw up our mountain of course we could even do another loop Nah, not like that loop the other way no come back big loops and it is a little slow through the top of that loop, but not so slow it looks like it's going to stall. So we're good. And then finish it off with a quarter loop and a large corkscrew to come out of it. Um. Yeah, large corkscrew. Can I do a large half loop here? Oh, look at that. That is so good. Come down right next to the station. Okay, well, this is getting pretty huge, but it's pretty one-dimensional, so I need to... Whoa, too fast. Make it start turning and doing other cool things. So let's roll this. Flatten out. Nope. And now I'm out of money again. So fast forward the world. Let's look at our park value. How far are we? No, 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 no. You stop, you stop right there, sir. No crashing allowed. Okay. New invention, sea serpent? Okay. Park value of 67,000. So we already reached the objective for tycoon level of 60,000 park value. And our park isn't even that big. We have all of this space still. What the heck? So we're going to keep on rolling. I'm not going to pay my loan off right now. First of all, we've got to finish this roller coaster. Okay, so flatten out. Go up. Let's do a big pretzel. Ah, uh, that's too tall. So we're not going to do that. Um... What if 
I do something like this? I'm out of money. Okay, test again. Space Shake 2 has been fixed. Well, that's good. Darn Space Shakes. Okay, it's not going through those loops as fast as I would like. It looks a little lethargic. Now through this one, possibly. I was afraid of that. All right, so that's not gonna work. Let's Helix for fun. Just a few Helixes like this. Ah, dang it. I need money, people. Or what I can just do is take my loan out again. <laughs> Speed this up. Now we can go through, whoops, that's not supposed to be sloped. Now we can go through the loop. Oh, I did that too soon. Still doesn't work. Yeah, now that's cool. Look at this. Okay, we should probably bring this back to the station, though. So, uh, no more messing around. Let's uh, recall this back to the station and call it a day. Call it a roller coaster. Now, to line this up, I think we're going to need a loop. Look at how slowly this is poking through there. Maybe we should not, shouldn't bank it. It doesn't really need to be banked because it's so slow. Okay, I don't like this. Let's delete this. I didn't realize it would be that slow. Okay. So instead of doing this... Ah, oh, darn it. Okay. So do this. Now go up. Except now this doesn't work anymore. Well, shoot! Okay, how about this? If I flatten this out... Do I fit? Yes, I do! Look at that! Okay, so we'll have a straight section here. Then a photo section inside the, 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 the loop or whatever you call it. Okay, roll this way. Something's in the way. Oh, it's because I'm too close to it. Okay, um, hmm. I was afraid of that. Alright, well, we do have to make this go up a little bit at least. Okay. And why not roll it? I mean, it's not the end of the world. Oh, we can make this wide now. Cool. That's what I wanted to do before. All right. I think we should have enough speed for a regular loop here, which will give us the correct spacing to reconnect to the station. So we're going to go with that. Flatten out, baby. Oh, yes perfectly spaced out. The mountain is getting all cut up, but that's alright. <laughs> and prehistoric corner base? Alright. That's awfully random. Alright, flatten out. Now let's put some brakes on here, just to prevent any failures and crashes. Alright then! Hold your horses there, buster! Okay. Let me actually move this over. Right there. There we go. Wonderful! Alright, I'm excited. This is going to be so cool. Let's make sure this has uh, a maximum lift hill speed of 16 miles per hour. And fire it up. 
All right, here goes nothing. And just as the sun rises, we start. Or do we start? Why aren't we starting? Uh, hello? Why are we not starting? Hey, yo. Oh, I opened it. Whoops, I meant to, oh gosh dang it. I wasn't supposed to open. Now if I made a mistake and have to edit something, it's gonna cost more. <laughs> oh man, uh, noob mistake. Woo! Let's get a look at the ground. So yeah, there is no floor. It's like our feet are dangling over the track. Oh boy! Woohoo! And down we go through the giant loop. And again through another giant loop. I'm really gonna have to fix this landscape because I really screwed it up with this roller coaster. Or we could decorate it, like clean it up so it's still like a trough, like the roller coaster cuts through the ground, but make it not so uh, jarring and sharp without such jagged sharp edges. Make it look like it was eroded that way, or something like that, I don't know. Then through this helix. Helix around, and then up. Okay, this is a more respectable speed. It's not super slow, but it's not really fast, it's just, you know, appropriate. And ease through this loop, just barely make it through, beautiful. And then caught by the brakes. Alright then. I actually don't know if these brakes are going to do anything. Let me see. Yeah, they didn't do anything. What the heck? Okay, so this. Or maybe they only do anything if it's 11. Or 8 point... I don't know. This is so weird. Let's speed this up and get another look at it. Okay, here it comes. Let's see if it actually slows down sufficiently, or if it just stalls. I don't think it did anything. Oh, whatever. It's all about the aesthetic anyway. Nice ratings. Not bad. So let's charge 740 for this monstrosity. Man, diminishing returns. You make a giant roller coaster and you're able to charge one more dollar than compared to a smaller roller coaster. <laughs> oh well. All right, so there's the entrance, and the exit will be tarmac. Um, yeah, that works, I guess. We'll have to put some kind of scenery in here, though. And open! Woo! All right. Now, with all this, uh, our park is growing, so I think that we should probably hire a few more staff members. Let me check again. We have the two janitors. Maybe we could do with a third one. I don't know. It's a bit of litter right there. This guy is not super lazy, so we're gonna just give him some training. Train him right up. Zero percent laziness. Wonderful. Our mechanic is not very happy for some reason, so let's uh give him a bit of training. Now he's happy, and his laziness is back to eight. Did he wait? Did he get more lazy with time? He wasn't that lazy before. Oh, that's annoying. One more. One more mechanic. Very, very lazy, so, uh, get discipline. All right. Okay, laziness down to 0%. Wonderful. Okay, one brave taker for this monstrous roller coaster. Huh. All right, I think we need, we need more rides in this basin to attract people to walk past this roller coaster, so let's see if we've unlocked anything else. We have the, oh, we have the robot arm. And the whirling dervish that I saw earlier, let's, uh, whoop, bit of lag. Let's place that right here. Entrance there, exit there, and fire it up. And of course, we need our entrance and exit paths and stuff. 4.21, not too shabby, so 420. Haha, ha, 420. 420. Let's build some more. We have the, oh, a lot of cool stuff in here. We have the lion show, which is not in theme. The insect house. These, these could be like alien insects. That seems fitting. Ugh, why is it so laggy? There's not a lot of stuff in this park. What's the deal here? Let's rotate this and place it here. Um, right.
All right, so let's open this. Stats, 2.24, so we'll charge 2.20. Cool, cool. All right, then. Time to fix this ridiculous mountain. I think if I grab this and grab this one. Well, it's not really fixing it, but it's improving it, I suppose. Ah, whatever. Let's just smooth it. Smooth everything out. Make it not, not look so jagged and funky. As well as these spots. And already, that's a huge improvement. Look at that. We could even make this like a canyon with water in it. So let's fill it with water. Can I make the water higher? Oh, kind of. I don't want it to be that tall though. Okay, waterfall. How do I do waterfalls and where do I do waterfalls? I've never, I don't think I've ever successfully done a waterfall. I don't understand how they work. Two different water bodies. Oh! So I've got an idea. We could have like a, a crater at the top of this one. So let me grab this again. Oh, this is crater? Yes. Let's shrink it down. That went really deep for some reason. All right, now water. And then waterfall. How? I'm confused. Okay, well, we'll do this again. Stop doing that! Well, that was incredibly unhelpful. Ah, <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Oh, whatever, we'll just do that. That is very expensive. Okay, no more of that. I'm spending all my money for nothing. We have a little, little pond or ca river or canyon thing or something or other down there. Good enough. Do we have any small rides that I could fit into this too wide space? Let me see. Probably not. Um. Oh, we have the robot arm, I forgot. Let's build a robot arm somewhere. Somewhere with room for it. Like maybe over here in the midst of this basin with all these exotic plants. Okay, entrance will go here, exit there, because that's where the ramp is. Okay. Now the throughput on the robot arm is pretty slow, so I can't uh, make the queue line too long or else people will get stuck. 6.78, so 680 for this. Very good. Alrighty. Let's look at our loan again, since I took out some of it. Let's pay it back off so I stop paying interest on it. And you know, I don't really have to fill out the whole park. We could just populate one side of it and then just take the screenshot from there so it looks like a fully fleshed out park. I don't have to fill the whole landscape up. Doesn't seem necessary. Do we have any more drinks? No, what a shame. We do need more bathrooms though, so I'm gonna place a few of these here and there. Just around, maybe right there. Let's place one over here as well. Toilets! And maybe uh, an ATM out here? I don't know. Right there, facing all directions. Standard coaster 1 has been fixed, that's good. Good to see they're not getting stuck there anymore. I wonder why it got stuck then, but not any of the other times it uh, went. That's really weird to me. I think we need more info kiosks, so let's place one over here. And I assume this is all uh, synchronized? Or maybe, is this my first one? Did I forget to build one? I think I forgot to build one. <laughs> so I gotta do this from scratch. So let's make this $2, 160 and 80 cents. Synchronize all stalls of this type. Let's build another one over here. 
open. And it's already synchronized with the one we built. Very good. Lots of people buying sunglasses. It's good to see. Really good value. Oh, dear. Maybe I should increase the price for everything. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, we have the observation. Ooh, Hershey's Kissing Tower. All right, let's place that somewhere. Maybe so you start inside the, the, the basin, but as you go up, then you can see over the edges. It seems like a cool concept. So let's make this really tall. Yes, sirree. All right. And with that, we need our entrance and our exit. Entrance doesn't fit. You know, I'm going to move this bathroom, actually. Let me close this. Just so I have this space for a queue line. Whoops. Close that. Okay, test. Now let's rebuild a bathroom we broke. Here's a good spot. Very nice. Now I'm going to forget to open this unless I do it now, so let's go ahead and open it. Although, I still have to remember the the price, so we'll, I'll have to come back to that to set the price. Okay. So we have pocket change now, just 800 or 900 dollars. Or a th almost a thousand? There we go, thousand dollars. So let's pay our loan off a little bit. And maybe advertise this park. So let's see. Marketing campaigns. What is this? Coupons for free attractions and uh, ad campaign for the park. Select publication. Let's do the national newspaper because we have rides of all types. If we had uh, if we had just gentle rides, we'd want to do the parenting magazine. If it was college students, then the college campus. But obviously, we have all kinds of rides, so we need everything and everyone. So let's do that. Oh, looks like we can actually do it in all publications, huh? Well, I'm going to leave that alone. Let's advertise free rides. Free rides on the... Where is it? On the zipper. Because why not? Okay. That was a small campaign. And hopefully that'll produce more money for us. Our park rating is almost maxed out. That's a good sign. Even though I haven't really accessorized everywhere. So while I'm thinking about it, let's do that right now. Let's uh, grab our scenery. Whoops. Scenery. And uh, put some stuff down. Ooh, Atlanta's oil lamp. Cool. Okie dokie. Let's make sure we have benches near the exits of our thrill rides. Exits by, not exits, benches by this ride as well. One minute and 20, one minute, one hour and 20 minutes. So I've been recording about as long as I was recording before, before the game crashed. So let me save again real quick. Because I'm uh, super nervous now. Like if it crashed, there might be something wrong with my game files. And I have to revalidate them or have the Steam go through them and make sure they're all correct. But if I do that, I think I would undo the work I did to give the, the correct the correct aspect ratio or resolution for uh, the roller coaster cam. So I may have to do that, but if I do that, I'll have to go redo the fix that I did to make the roller coaster POV not look all stretched and wonky. So I'd rather not do that if I can help it. So I'm going to keep going for now and hope for the best. But if the game crashes again, I may just have to just deal with it and to go screw up my resolution so I can, uh, yeah, so I can get that fixed. Okay, garbage cans everywhere. I see litter over here. What's wrong with you people? Stop throwing your trash on the ground.
Methinks this spot here needs a bathroom, so let's grab that real quick. Plop. Alright, so that's there. Okay, now everywhere else is pretty accessorized, so I think we're good. Oh, let's do lamps first. Let's see, we have the, the neon path lamps already on over here. Let's grab our star lamps just to be different. And place them on like the uh, the ends of junctions or corners. Like here's a good spot. There's a good spot. There's a good spot. And uh, maybe in the queue lines as well. Blech. Man, I love the scenery in this game. It is such an improvement compared to Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. So much cool stuff you can do. Alright, now let's put these around the path, uh, the path system as well. On some of these corners. I'm not really following a specific pattern, I'm just spacing it out and eyeballing it. If I tried to make it perfectly exact, I could potentially make it a little bit better? But you'd only be able to tell if you are really scrutinized the park, and uh, the time investment required just doesn't seem like it pays off in the long run, so... Oh! I gotta fix the terrain over here again, I forgot. So let's grab this, flatten this all out, like so. There we go. Get cinched. Very good, much better. Except over here. Okay, that's the border of our park, so we're kind of stuck with that. But uh, right here could be improved. Beautiful! Now it's all covered up. Just like all of my dirty secrets all covered up. I'm just kidding. Okay. What else can we do here? I don't see the laser battle yet. I had that in the previous attempt recording this before it crashed. Would be nice, but I don't have it, sadly. I also had uh, a more of the... Ooh, loop the loop. This looks kind of scary. I had more options available, but I don't anymore because it crashed. And as I said, the, the, the order in which things are unlocked is completely random. So, although I had them before, I don't anymore. And that rhymed, but not on purpose. I think I want to expand my path out here so I can put my flat rides here, but the land is not completely flat. Oh well. Let's just see what I can get away with. Let's switch back to the metal, just for fun. Okay, I'm gonna delete this lamp so I can go this way. Uh. There we go. No, 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 no. Oh, I love the power-up sound of some of those rides. Sounds like industrial equipment. Okay, so that expands over there. Now let's find a junction point. Can I go up over this somehow? If I get rid of those benches. Delete that flower. Oh, that was easy. Okay. Now I just gotta work my way over. Got some wild angles on this, these paths, I have to say. Okay, so that's all a completed loop. So now, I think, I'll be able to place the... What was it called? This funky airplane spinner thing, the loop-the-loop. -loop, which doesn't look like it has the best throughput that I've ever seen. Alright. Right there, I think. Let's put the, uh, the queue, the entrance, uh, right here, the exit right here. 
Wait, this is all tarmac. Oh, gosh dang it. I said I was going to make it... <sighs> okay. Well, it's not horribly expensive, but it would take a while to redo all of it. Ah, whatever. Let's just replace all of it with uh, the proper thing that I selected before. Deselect those. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Now give me metal. Now if I do this carefully... There we go. Cool. Let's do this again. No, no, no. Okay. Wonderful. Now with all that still selected... No, it disappeared. Okay, I have to do it all over again. Ah, well. How did I have this connect before? Uh... Huh. I'm not sure what I did. Somehow this connected and it's not connecting anymore. <laughs> well, that doesn't work. <laughs> I'm so stuck. Did I go all the way to the edge? Maybe I did. Yeah, whatever I did. Uh, it's working now. Wonderful. All right, so now it's all done. So I can open this, look at the stats. Now this looks intense. 3.76. I feel like this should be more exciting than that. Or no, it's accounted for the intensity. Oh, and the nausea rating. Goodness, that's not going to be good. Well, uh, we'll deal with it somehow. In the meantime, let's get our queue line set up. Oh, and it releases smoke trails. That's cool. Oh, and they spin? Oh, my goodness. Well, I've never built this in this game before, but this is crazy. And they barrel roll. This is multi-dimensional. What the heck? Okay, stats. 3.75. Let's charge 380 for this. There we go. And this spot right here looks like the perfect place for a bathroom. Or better yet, maybe a first aid stall, because uh, our people are going to be so sick coming off of this. Hopefully they actually use it instead of just running past it and ignoring it just to barf in the path somewhere. But I could try to mitigate this further with a few benches. Like so. Why are these all floating in the air? Come on. And these ones too? What the heck? There we go. Weird, I say. Very weird. Those ones are floating, too. Look how uncomfortable this looks to walk on. It's sloped at, like, almost 45 degrees? No, not 45. It's got a pretty steep slope to it. If you're walking up that, it might be okay, but walking alongside it, that looks really weird. Okay, people seem to be working their way over here. That's good. Okay, let's switch back to the neon since we're on the metal paths again. And uh, maybe there, and there, and there, there and there. All right, now we need garbage cans. Where are they? Space trash bins. Now, we have a good-sized uh, amount of money in our bank account. Look at that. $7,000. So, certainly, we'll be able to pay our loan off pretty soon, if we aren't able to already. Let me check. 
Oh, we can pay it off. Look at that. Well, not yet. Not yet. I still got things I want to do here. Uh, but soon. It's a seagull. Let me click you. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, well. All right. So that's all done. Let's look at some of the things we've unlocked. Anything new and interesting? Uh, not that I see. I have all of these except the octopus, just because it's the wrong theme. And as far as roller coasters, there's the Dizzy Dropper. I've built that before. It's pretty weird. Um, not much else. And this place is coming together pretty well, so we might be ready to call this done. But first, I want to finish fleshing out this central area. Maybe with more shops, if I have any. Nah, it's still the same old stuff. That's annoying. Oh, well. Let's get some more shops and stalls set up here. We have a bathroom there. Um. Hmm. But we don't have an ATM over here, so let's put that there. Oh, wait, no, we totally do. <laughs> Delete. Give my money back. Yeah, I don't know what I want to do with that space. Let's look at scenery. That's something I really haven't taken the time to look at. Generic, western, adventure. Let's turn all those off. We have an impact crater with gemstones in it. A loading robot. A Martian war machine. There's lots of cool stuff in here. Neptune? Oh, as in the... <laughs> As in the Atlantis. Okay. Not Neptune the planet. Wrong Neptune. Oh, this is cool. It doesn't fit, but it's cool. Where could I fit this? Oh, that's perfect. And it opens up too. Yeah, well, that's cool. Let's find a few other spots for these. Maybe one right here if I delete some of these flowers. Why can't I do it? Oh, that's in the way. Sweet! So we have Saturn the planet, which fits perfectly right here. Look at that! Just like it was meant to be. Well, I think I want to turn it so the rings are facing the path, at least partially. There we go. Nice. Sea Serpent Spaceport. That's important for, uh, for traveling and the stars and whatnot. Let's rotate it so the path is facing the guests. And what happened to my stuff? Where's my tarmac? Get back my tarmac. All right. Where'd it go? Space, spaceport. Right, right, right. That's in the way. And this is in the way. Oh, for goodness sake. No, 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 no. What? What is with this? I don't want the metal supports. If I build it further back. Nah, that doesn't look good. All right. I'll build it somewhere else. Somewhere else, maybe later. Or here's an idea. I don't need these paths here. Since it all kind of loops around anyway. So we can put this here. <laughs> oh, there we go. Spaceship and launch, gentry, gentry, something or other. No room over there, but possibly room over here. Yes, indeed, there is room. And this frame rate is not good. I have a feeling I want this to face a different direction. There we go. UFO attack animatronic? Okay. Where's my impact crater? Cool, with gemstones glistening in the bottom of it. Uh, these graphics are killing me. I can't see nothing. Where could I slip this? I could potentially fit a flat ride here, but I don't have a lot of options for flat rides, so I think I'm going to leave it alone. Ah, this is good enough. Let's look at our smaller stuff. The Martian War Machine. 
we could flank the entrance or exit of a ride with this. Yes, indeed. Look at that. Maybe something more scary looking, like a loading robot. Cool. Rocket ship. Well, that's just scenery, so let's turn it. Nice, nice. Three-legged robot animatronic. Let's place that over here, maybe. Face in the right direction already. That's pretty good. I don't know. Let's just uh, pair alone off. I don't want to linger here all day. Most of my videos lately have been very, very long, so I don't feel like this one needs to be super long. Also because I already recorded for an hour and 15 minutes before everything went wrong and it crashed. So, congratulations. You've shown you've got what it takes to be an entrepreneur. But can you make it to tycoon level? I don't know. Extra land is now available for purchase. Let me guess. It's this strip of land right here. That's my guess. Let's take a look. I thought so. And how much does it cost per tile? Not that we have anything to build out here. There's no more flat rides. $75. No thanks. <laughs> I don't think we need it. We don't need it. This right here is good enough as it is. And look at this park we've put together. Beautiful. So if we look at our objectives, as I said, we already have the minimum park value of 60,000. If we look at our finances, we actually have 141,000 park value. So more than double the minimum requirement. Karaoke, karaoke, <laughs> so, so funny to say, is coming on August 22nd. So that's in 10 days. And her breakdown tolerance is medium. So let's go through all of our rides and change the inspection intervals to 10 minutes. And, uh... We'll have to hire more mechanics, I think, to keep up with all the demand. Ten minutes for you. Ten minutes for you. Whoops. Ten minutes for you. What have I missed? There's a trampoline machine. In one week's time, a VIP will arrive. Sounds ominous. Okay, this monstrous roller coaster should be inspected as well. And our bug house. Did I ever change the price on this? I don't think I did. 3.1, so 310. Or let's just say $3, whatever. And 10 minutes. And the robot arm, which uh, has no passengers, will also be 10 minutes. Oh, there's someone. Sprinting inside. <laughs> Did I do this one yet? I did not. All right, so 10 minutes. So everything is in 10 minute intervals now. Let's hire a few more mechanics to stay on top of things. Let's see. Holy smoke, you're lazy. Discipline! Okay, 21% now. Very good. Let's hire another one. And he is not quite as lazy, so that's good. Okay, no laziness for him. Wonderful. And, uh, maybe one more of these guys. Super lazy. Okay. Now zero. Perfect. All right. So I think we should be set. This park is ready for the VIP. I think uh, we just have to satisfy her. She doesn't have a specific requirement to like a roller coaster of a certain excitement or whatever. She just wants to enjoy the park, basically. I don't know how long she'll stick around. Oh, VIP has arrived. Where's she at? She's still outside the park. Oh yeah, she's outside. Well, let me go. There she is. Karaoke. You know what would be really funny is if we... Uh, is if we actually uh, unlocked the karaoke concert as a ride. I wonder if you can stop her by clicking on her, like with other guests. No, it doesn't look like it. I need a break from this. There's too many people pestering her. She's running away. <laughs> okay, she has... Uh, 
I don't see anything about how much money she has. Yeah, I see nothing about money, so... Maybe we give her free rides? I'm not sure. So we'll have to keep tabs on her, make sure she stays happy. This area right here is begging for more scenery, I think. Let's see, what else do we have? Ooh, a carnivorous lily. What other cool, creepy things do we have? Okay, let's turn off the Atlantis stuff. And the spooky stuff, so all we're left with should be... Uh alien, weird, otherworldly things. Martian Tiger Lotus. Neptune Spore Pod. Philosophy Tree? What's a philosophy tree? What the heck? Venusian Spore Pod. Winged Rapture. Okay, I see a lot of these throughout the parks. Let's just add a few more here and there. Super One's been fixed. That's good. Let's roll. She's probably on a ride. Let me check. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Fair enough, though. Can we ride it with her? A uh, nice face. Uh... Yeah, there she is. She's in the front seat, so we're going to ride it with her. Hello, karaoke. And, uh, hello, bald, fa bald person. Red hair. Oh. This is awkward. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> All right, here goes nothing. Here, false alarm. Why are we stuck? Is that the lap bar going down? Oh, yep, that's the lap bar. Here we go. Now, please don't break down. If this breaks down, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Although you can't really lose in Roller Coaster Tycoon Three. In Roller Coaster Tycoon Two and One, you can fail a scenario if you don't meet the parameters by the end of the deadline. And Roller Coaster Tycoon Three, if we fail, Karaoke is just going to leave, and then she'll come back again in a month or so. Woohoo! And this is why I don't ride uh, peep POV or guest POV when there's people on it. Because look at these fists and hands that keep popping into the screen. So let me change this to this view. Ah, much better. Woohoo! Oh yeah! <laughs> Can I click on her? No, I can't. I was gonna see if she's. See if her happiness meter goes up from this ride. And this is a long roller coaster, my goodness. Really, I did myself with this one. Yeehaw! Then through the final loop. Barely make it through. A bit of hang time right there. Very nice, very nice. Alright, and then she just pops off and disappears. Okay, so let's uh, read her thoughts a little bit and see what she thinks. Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Let's roll. Happiness is almost maxed out. Temperament. Nausea is up a little bit. Oh, that's her. That's her route, isn't it? And she's going to go everywhere. She's going to be here a while. So I guess I have more time to play around, I suppose. So let's close that without messing it up. All right, let's see what else I can do. I kind of want to build a pool somewhere. I'm not sure where I'd put it, though. There's not really any room anywhere unless I flatten a mountain or something. Although I own this spot, so if I have a path cut through to this area... Yeah, let's do that. Let's have a... Let's have a path come out over here. So let's grab the, uh... Uh, tarmac? Nah, maybe the marble. That doesn't look right. Um... Sandy... Underwater tunnel. How about that? To right here. The controls of zero-g trampoline one have failed. Well, that's not good. Hopefully she wasn't around to see it. All right. Right down. Let's make a pool. Let's outline it with this. Why is this in the air? No, no, no. All right, now for water. Oh, 
Okay, so that's all done. Now I think if I do this... Ho-ho! <laughs> there we go, perfect. Okay, what is going on with the graphics? Okay, let's expand this. We'll maybe have a second tier over here. So let's raise this up. Like so. It's getting awfully dark. No, 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 stay down. I'll have to mess up that mountain. Oh, uh, whatever. No! Stay down, for crying out loud. No! There. Okay. This area is slightly higher up, so let's grab our ramps. Where's my ramps? I'm pretty sure I get ramps somewhere. Features. Ah, uh, here we go. That is too low. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Now let's round off these corners. What the heck? All right, now features. Let's get a lifeguard on duty. One on this side as well. Over here and over here. And we need a hot tub that can go here, I suppose. Maybe a couple of hot tubs. Pool lights. Did it even get placed? There it goes. I can't even see if this is working or not. There we go. Now this upper pool could have a wave pool in it. So let's put that over here. Fun. Okay, showers. And lamps. I think this is a lamp. Something like that. I'm going too fast to really think too hard about what I'm doing. Okay, covered seats, and then maybe some uncovered seats adjacent to those. All right then, now we need entrances to this, so let's go with something that looks futuristic. <laughs> the most futuristic one is the generic one. That's funny. Anyway, let's make sure all of these are open. Yeah, close you. It's weird how they open and close individually, but the price is universal for them. So let's turn this up to $5 because I don't actually know what the fair price is. Boom. Okay, now let's try to see if we can make this path reach around to over there somehow. But to do that, I may have to screw up my... Ah, whatever, we'll just leave it. This is tucked away in the secluded corner of the park. And yeah, there's our pool. Where? Let's find Karaoke. Let's see where she's at. Um, Karaoke, where are you? No, seriously, where actually is she? Or maybe this shows where she had the thought. Oh, she's already open. Heh <laughs> heh. Where's she at? There she is. Giving out autographs or something. Her happiness is going down and her park opinion has gone down. Uh. I must get it to the max in order to impress them? Uh oh. Heh, there's an apostrophe missing. You must get the VIP's park opinion to max in order to impress them. Heh <laughs> grammatical fail. <laughs> oh well, let's hope that her opinion improves while she's here. It seems like it's gone down in the time that she's been here, which is annoying. I see no one has made their way to the pool yet. Oh, there's a few people making their way. Okay. The controls of Parachute Drop 1 have failed! Well, that's annoying. Maybe we need more, uh, handymen. Not handymen. Mechanics. So let's hire some more, I guess. We have four of them. Okay, you are very lazy, sir. There we go, 17%. 2%, one more. Perfect. 
Perfectionarium. Now, I really don't think I'm going to make this path reach all the way across without doing some serious land editing. Hmm. Oh, well. This guy just showered, and now he's going to jump in. I think I should have more diving boards. Or, not more diving boards. Any diving boards, because I didn't add anything. So this one's there. Something like that. Alrighty. Oh, and ladders to get out. I completely forgot about those. Close to where the... Close to where the, uh, the lifeguard is. And we'll need some, uh, in this pool as well. Okay, and lights? It's the ghost light! Very nice. All right. Now let's round off these corners. Leave this one as a sharp angle like so. Oh, here's an idea. Do something like that. That's funky, but I kind of like it. Yeah, I think I like that better. Now it looks like Utah. Karaoke is leaving the park? I love the public dot dot. Is that sarcasm? Uh, hold on a second. Where are you at, Karaoke? There she is. Park opinion has gone significantly up. That's good. But does it have to be maxed out? Oh, dear. Well, we may have failed, because if she's already leaving, <laughs> she's running away from people. <laughs> yeah, we may have to have a round two with her if we failed to impress her this round. Let me see. I'm kind of curious. So as soon as she leaves, like as soon as she reaches the... Oh, I can't actually see where the where the void of space is. As soon as she disappears, then either we win or... Oh! <laughs> I guess it counted. It said it had to be maxed out, but maybe it was approximately maxed out. <laughs> oh, well. A new coaster design available. Oh, well, cool. Thanks. And then we have a bunch of balloons that have been released, as is customary. There's lots of UFOs floating over my park. <laughs> Oh, uh, well. But anyway, this has been a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it as much as I did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. So, see you next time, guys.